In this session, we'll look at something called expressions and attributes. And if you remember what we have looked in the previous sessions, we looked at something called components and also we looked at something called nested components. So let us get started and let us see a preview of what we have built in the previous session. I'll click on this preview button. So this is what we have created in the previous sessions. Let us go back to the developer console. And if you look at this, our app has got two components which are plugged, hello world and hello message. And if you look at both the components, they have got static hard-coded messages and will not be able to do anything with hard-coded messages. So all we have to do now is we have to somehow make things dynamic. For that, what I'll try to do is I'll remove this component from here. Instead of plugging both the components in a app, I'll paste this here and I'll make this a nested component. So if you see the structure, we have Aura application. In Aura application, we have this component and this component we have hello message. And hello message has got a static message. I'll remove it. And to make things dynamic, I'll go ahead and I'll create an attribute. And the syntax for it is Aura attribute. And then it takes two things here, which are type and name let me end the tag and if you look at the syntax we are using aura attribute and these are also called attributes which is name and type even they are called attributes and do not get confused between the attributes and the aura attribute tag And if you look at the other attributes that Aura attribute tag takes, it is required. And the next attribute is default, which is give, which is used to give the default values. And the next attribute is description to give a brief description about why we are using this attribute. But in this session, we'll be focusing upon name and type and we'll talk about these three attributes at a later point of time. So let me go ahead and let me give a name to this attribute. I'll give the name as message. And then we'll try to give type to this attribute, which is string. And type attribute takes multiple other values. And we'll be looking at what the other values are in a moment. You can also think of attributes as instant variables, which are used to transfer the values from front end to the back end which is lightning components in our case to the JS controllers. And the next thing we'll be looking into is expressions and expressions are basically used to bind dynamic values to the tags in the component or they're also used to display the values stored in the attribute. So this is will be using expressions. And within the expression, if you want to display the value which is stored in the attribute message, then we have to use a notation called V. And V stands for value provider. For the sake of understanding, let us assume V as variable. And followed by that, we should use dot notation. And followed by dot, we have to use the name of the attribute whose value we want to display or show to the users, which is message. And now, we have to somehow pass values from this component to this component dynamically by using the attribute message so that we are trying to show the value of message here. So let us get started. I'll send value dynamically by using something called message. We are using message here because it should be the same as the name of the attribute, which is message. Hence, I'm giving message here. And now I'll pass the value or a message, custom message, which is Krishna Teja. So let's try saving it. Okay, I have to save the components individually. Save it. Come back here, save it. Okay. Let us go to the app and preview it. So there you go. We are sending the value dynamically from the parent to child component. 
and displaying it in the child component now I'll try sending a different value like this save it come back to the browser refresh it there you go we are able to pass values from parent to child dynamically now let us go ahead and let us look at the other attribute which is description this is used to give some description about why this attribute is used so that if a new developer comes on to the project he'll understand the purpose of this attribute and you can give some description like this let me format it properly and the next attribute that we'll be looking into is default I'll give a default value here looks like there is a typo let me save it and this is used when we are not passing any value from the parent if there is no value then the value which is in default will be used by the framework so let me remove this and also let me remove the attribute message and in such scenarios what it does is it takes the value which is given in default attribute and it will display on the component let me come back to the browser and refresh it once there you go we are not giving any value and it is taking the default value and there is one more attribute which is required so it takes a boolean value true or false if it is true then there should be a value for the attribute and by default it is false so if you want you can just use the attribute required and give either true or false to it let me remove these two attributes let us put this simple and now let us look at different values that we can give to attribute type apart from string we can also give boolean to it which means the attribute message can accept boolean values or it can accept date or date time or it can accept decimal values it can also accept double values or integer is something which it can accept for the sake of demonstration I'll use integer let me save it let me also define the attribute message here let me pass a integer value which is 100 save it come back to the browser refresh it we can see 100 now and now let us go ahead and perform an automatic operation within the expression I'll add a plus symbol and then I'll add 200 save it come back to the browser refresh it there you go it is performing the arithmetic operation now while change this to string let us see how to concatenate dynamic string to a static string I'll use single quotes I'll add a value within the single quotes and from the front end instead of 100 I'll send a string value like this save it come back to the browser refresh it there you go this is how you can concatenate strings let me give a single space before thanks so it will be properly formatted there you go this is how we can perform arithmetic and concatenating operations apart from all these values attribute type can also accept either standard object or custom object which means the attribute name called message can accept either a standard object record or a custom object record so this can be either lead or it can be a custom object API name like this so this means that attribute message is trying to hold single record of the custom object so now let me remove all these things let us go back to the parent component and I have added this comment since the beginning I'll try to remove the comment 
and at this point of time you don't have to understand the nitty gritties but then please understand that whenever we uncomment this line whenever the component is initialized it fetches a lead record in the backend and it assigns to a attribute in this component so I'll remove this I'll go ahead and I'll try to create a attribute here or a column attribute name and type or the two attributes I'll be using So in line 3 we have used aura handler tag it fetches a lead record and it is assigning a lead record to the attribute which we are defining in line number 6. The underlying logic is already written and you don't have to bother about this at this point of time. So type is lead which means attribute message will hold single record of object lead. This is what we have added and it takes care of all the business logic and you don't have to bother about it and we'll be discussing about how this is done how this can be achieved in the coming sessions so for this session just add that line and it will start working it will assign the values to the attribute message and now we have to look at displaying the values in the attribute message in this component and that can be done by using expression value provider or variable v dot name of the attribute which is message by doing this we are trying to display one record but then if we want fields of the record then we'll use dot name of the field let me save this come back to the browser refresh it there you go you can see the name of the lead and if you want to see another field probably ID you can copy it and paste it like this ID save it come back to the browser refresh it so we are seeing the name and the ID type can also accept other values like list or a set or a map and for this demo we'll look at how to use a list let me remove this and type becomes list and we'll also be using another attribute which we have seen earlier and it is default so we are trying to create attribute with the name message which accepts list which is also defined with default values and this is how you define default values for a list so square brackets and then separate all the values with a comma if you're giving string then you'll be using single quotes to grab the string and i'll give the string as this and I train people on lightning this is how you can define default values for list and now let us look at displaying it in the component so this is how I'll do it v dot message and within the square brackets we have to give the indices it starts from 0 since we have three values it becomes 0 1 and 2 let me format the code properly this becomes 1 this becomes 2 let me save it come back to the browser refresh it refresh it once again looks like there is some cache so refresh it once again there you go we are trying to display the values in a list by using indices these are the three values and if you want just 
the you know first and third value to be displayed i'll remove it save it come back to the browser refresh it and you can only access the first and the third values in the list and typically we'll never be using a list and indices like this we'll be using our iteration tag and uh, we'll loop through the list and we'll make sure that the values are displayed in the component that is a standard practice so that's all for this session and we'll resume back in the next session